Our school over recent years has had a very strong focus on the development of literacy and numeracy skills, but we also were aware that we were narrowing down the creativity of teachers and we were narrowing down the opportunities for children. As a school, we've focused very much on a range of curriculum things such as Harvard's Visible Thinking, the Reggio approach to learning, and everything seemed a little bit in isolation. So being part of the New Pedagogies project has glued together all of the bits and pieces of work that we've done. I'm making a mini library in Malaysia because I want my friends in Malaysia to learn better. We asked Risk why he was doing this and he said books were quite expensive in Malaysia and when they got back to Malaysia he wanted to create his own mini library to support his community. Immediately we thought this is something that could become a really authentic learning opportunity. We unpacked it with the students, the parents had a chance to give us their feedback by commenting on the blog and we really put the provocation out there as to how could we possibly help Risk. The JPOD students have been quite excited about the project and they've come up with a few ideas um, which I'll just, I'll just mention to you now. One of the challenges is to ensure that the curriculum outcomes are actually met um, whilst a project like this is going on. The way we've ensured that that happens is essentially by almost auditing our planning as we're going through the units as the students realised that they needed to communicate and, and persuade an audience. They needed to understand the elements of a persuasive text or a persuasive communication. We really need your help. We have a front god risk. Three, four. Four. Donating new books is cool. One group was organising getting all the books yeah. from the shops and from homes of people. And another group was making a few books. Olivia and I wrote a letter to Scholastic and I was really surprised how they come back with a letter and some books. We donated needed 600 books and I wonder how they're going to get all of those books to Kuala Lumpur. The teachers have three hours together in their team planning as well as another hour for collegiate observation and that collegiate observation time now is working around their demonstration of the six E's in their practice. So the planning is actually a checklist of things they need to remember as opposed to a checklist of things that they need to be doing. They're auditing through the process to see which six E's have the opportunity to be developed. The New Pedagogies project gave a language to the teachers that was a consistent one, gave a language to the students that was consistent and we've seen our parent community be able to connect with that language as well. Beyond our project-based learning we're now starting to see other parts of our curriculum changing as well. How do you feel about all these books with you? Well I feel great and my friends in Malaysia can learn better information. The Malaysian community actually came into the school and that was a real high point to see the, the impact we'd had. The learning seems to come from the children. In turn, it's gone overseas <laughs> and it's connected the children. Well, this is Geelong, this is who we are. When Risk and his family went to pick up the books inside, I felt um, that I had made a difference to Risk and his mini library and all of his friends back in Malaysia. Our children are able to adapt to different situations. They feel as though their actions will turn into something that's going to be real. So for all of our teaching now, giving that real purpose is our focus. One of the key things has been freeing up the curriculum by backward planning and giving the teachers the permission to say, we want to develop this project. We haven't got six weeks to do it and we're not just going to get it done in that time. We're going to um, let it evolve, let it shape itself. When you look at a bigger picture project like the RISK project, it's, it, it's a big project. But the thinking and the ingredients that allow that to be a quality learning opportunity for students, you can actually bring that right down into one lesson. It might not be a lesson that leads to a creation of a library in Malaysia, but it can be a lesson that can have all the same ingredients. Now we are book writers and I actually wanted to be a book writer when I'm older. And the RISK project was pretty exciting because there we were actually going to help people
today we are going to set up our library for today. today. The library is currently situated close to Risk School and unfortunately it's on the fourth floor of a building which isn't providing great access for, for parents or, or the local community. Risk's father's actually been in contact with ministers in, in Malaysia who are actually suggesting that they might move the library to a central location in Kuala Lumpur. There's also a possibility that the library may become a mobile library. The family have actually been, been approached by a not-for-profit organisation who's raised the concept of the books going onto a truck that could go around the um, Kuala Lumpur area, probably the regional areas as well.